Hi, I'm Gordon from Camera Labs, and this is a quick vlogging test with the Canon RF 35mm f1.8 lens. A little bit tight for uh, vlogging use, but I thought I'd uh, give it a go anyway and tell you a little bit more about what I feel is probably the most neglected lens of the first four native options for Canon's RF system. Neglected because the others are quite exotic, really. The 50mm f1.2, that's pretty exciting. 28, 70mm f2, no one else has got one of those. And of course, everyone got the 24 to 105mm kit zoom. So, where does that leave this model? Well, it's one of only two primes uh, 35mm f1.8, so nice and bright. It's one of only two of those four that has built in optical stabilization, so that's what I'm using here to iron out the wobbles. And it's also the lightest lens in the system, it's only just over 300 grams. So when you mount it on a body like the EOS R, well, that's the only body you can mount it on at the moment, then it does actually make for a fairly compact system. I'm filming this in the full frame 1080 50p mode on the EOS R with a shutter speed of 100th of a second, auto ISO and the aperture all the way open to f1.8 and I think it's doing quite a nice job at blurring the background and of course say what you like about Canon but it's dual pixel CMOS AF system does a great job especially with face detection and a screen that flips forward it just makes vlogging so easy if only they would do uncropped 4k on one of these things anyway moving on one of the things that makes the 35mm special though is that it is a macro lens. Not true macro, it won't do one to one, 100% magnification. It'll only do one to two or 50%. But that still lets you get close enough to fill the frame with some pretty small subjects. And the 35mm focal length is also very practical for general use. This is something you could use for street, travel, you know, it's, it's a very flexible all round focal length. So, if you want to find out more about this lens or see how I've used it in terms of sample images, then head on over to my review at cameralabs.com. I've got lots of pictures for you to have a look out there. In the meantime, I hope you found this review useful and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.